Good afternoon and welcome to Real Chicks Rock Presents Real Discussions. I'm your host, Michelle Dosbert, and I'm always super excited. I don't know if you guys got a chance to hear my new theme song. Yeah, we're always changing things up around here. Yes! Thank you, DJ Kemet, for We Still Rise. I love that song, and I asked him, could I use it for my opening for my show? And he said, yes, so that's what we're serving today. So thank you, thank you, thank you. I want to thank everybody for um, joining us today. We are super excited. Um, it's no different than any first or third Sunday. We're always here, and we're honored to be here. And I just want to give a little background as to what Real Chicks Rock is all about. We're all about creatively collaborating and connecting to raise awareness regarding issues that impact women. And we do it by ways of community service engagement, um, public speaking, mentoring, and working in the arts, the media platform. And this has been my my love for the past couple of years, if you will. You know, I love it. And we're, we've been here every first and third Sunday to do it at 2 o'clock Eastern Standard Time. And today, I wanted to, I haven't touched this topic in a long time, just kind of want to get a viewpoint on the political life, like politics in general. There's a lot of things that are going on and a lot of things going on in our local governments and I just thought it would be a great, great, great way to just get some more insight and some more information about those things. So with um, no further ado, my guest here to my right is none other than Sharice Hollis. Hi, Sharice. Hey. How are you? Oh, I am wonderful. You looking wonderful. Thanks for joining us today. Thank you. All right. So you are... Born and raised in Atlanta, true, right? Yes, yeah. Yeah. From Decatur. Oh, where it's greater? <laughs> yes. Decatur, where it's, where it's greater. Yes. Okay. Yes. All right. All right. Yes, that's our running joke. We always have to say that. Yeah. yeah. So you've been here. So um, how has it been for you living or being raised in Decatur? What What was it like for you? I mean, life was great um, with my parents, you know, working and my sisters and I attending school. Mm -hmm. So, I mean, we were just typical kids mm -hmm. involved in activities in school. Um, you know, our parents supported us and just being involved. So, mm -hmm. you know, just a great life that we live. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. So um, for people that are watching and listening, you had an opportunity. You you were running for office for city council for Stockbridge. That is correct. So tell us, how did we get to Stockbridge from Decatur? How did we move over there? So I moved to Stock Ridge in 2006 mm -hmm. and I'm um, with my two boys. Okay. And so um, at that time they were pretty young. Uh -huh. And so one, one of the things that I've always said about myself was that once my kids had gotten older, yeah. that I wanted to become more involved in the community. Okay. Mm -hmm. That was it. That That's was it. it. Okay. Was it. So tell me a little bit about what's going on or what you're seeing or witnessing in Stockbridge. So um, right now, you know, Stockbridge is pretty much at a peak where if they take advantage of the opportunities that's in front of them, then some amazing things can happen and continue to happen. There are some amazing things that are happening in Stockbridge, okay. but you have to take advantage of some of the other opportunities that are presented okay. in order to reap those benefits later on in the future. Okay, so share with me or with us a little bit of the opportunities that you speak well, of. Well, one of the things um, that was on my platform uh -huh. was that we needed to have our own police department. Okay. And so for whatever reason, they feel as if, you know, it's not something that, you know, they should look at. Mm -hmm. You know, they've done a feasibility study stating mm -hmm. that, oh, you know, right now we have a, an agreement with the county mm -hmm. and we don't need to have our own police department. Okay. Where we're the largest city in the county, mm. but we don't have our own police department. That's strange. And all the other cities, they do. That's, and they're was, much smaller. That's odd, because I thought, I thought, I don't know, I just assumed Stockbridge, because it is a big city. It is a very large city. Would have their own police. So then who services you if you have a Henry problem? Henry County. And, not, and they do an amazing job. Okay, okay. But that's a lot of stress on yeah. the officers as well. And so, you know, it's just something that I asked that they take another look at. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Any other opportunities that you see for Stockbridge? Um, um, we need to look at transportation options. Okay. You, <laughs> I mean, because, you know, if you look at other major cities, mm -hmm. they have light rail. Mm -hmm. And so that's something that, you know, I would definitely support because living where we live, it takes, I would say, about 45 minutes to get downtown. Really? And Yeah. Mm -hmm. And so most of the time you're not really wanting to travel because of the traffic. Mm -hmm. Who wants to sit in traffic? Right. But if you can hop on a light rail that can shoot you downtown. Right. Or if it could shoot you to the airport, mm -hmm. that would be amazing. That would be nice, too. Nice. That would be nice too. Yeah, you know, 
I do know a couple of people. I have a good friend that does that. She lives in Stockbridge. She's very passionate about her city, mm -hmm. and she's gotten involved in, in things and affairs that go on there. And that is the thing. It's um, it is a nice city. Yeah. There's great people that live there. Yeah. But like everything else, you want to have those options Correct. to be able to come and go. And if nothing else, not on the social scale, just trying to get to work, right? Just trying to get to work. And that's one of the other things is you know with economic development, you want to be able to draw in big name companies. Mm -hmm. You want them to br want them to bring their headquarters to your city, mm -hmm. to your county. Mm -hmm. Well, how are their employees going to be able to move in and out? They need to be able to freely be able to move about. Right. But if you're bringing in a large company, they're not able to transport in and out the city. Mm -hmm. That's con that's even more congestion. Yeah, yeah. So that's something that should be looked at. And then you feel restricted. You feel like Very you can't restricted. really move about oh, yeah. and, and do things. If and then there's an accident, I mean, there was a there was a particular day where there was an accident and Henry County was completely shut down. Really? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it took me an hour and 40 minutes oh to travel my gosh. what should have been a seven minute drive. Are you serious? Yes, serious? That's, the city was on gridlock. That's not, that's unacceptable. It is. So that's why we need to, you know, the city needs to work with the county mm -hmm. and, you know, other stakeholders mm -hmm. to basically try to come up with other options for us for transportation. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Now, Cherise, what, for you, I want to take it back a little bit because a lot of people that are listening may have similar aspirations to yourself or as, you, as you did because we multitask, right, as women, mm -hmm, especially we black women. We do a lot of different things, mm -hmm, right? Mm -hmm. We have a career. We may be a wife. We're a mother, maybe. Then we have this thing that, <laughs> that God gives us. Like yes. sometimes we ask the Lord, take it, because I can't take another thing on my why, plate. Lord, why, right, why, 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 why Lord, why, why me? me? So then you say, I just want to help my community in exactly. some way. And God orders your steps in this particular way. Yes. So how, just to give us a little insight, how were you able to really start your career in in, in politics or just wanting so to pursue this? How was it for you? It's funny how it started. I really was just supporting other female okay. candidates okay. that was running for office. Mm -hmm. And so, you know, just being out, being more active mm -hmm. in the community, mm -hmm. seeing where there was a need. Right. And then it's like, well, have you considered who said that? Somebody, uh -huh. one of your friends, one of the homies uh -huh. turned Michael around and said, <laughs> somebody looked at, they looked and said, well, have why you don't you do it? You would be great for uh, you to have you considered. Mm. And so, um, you know, I showed up to, you know, a couple of meetings right. and ended up at that time, this was, I think, back in 2017. Okay. At that time, end up being, um, being voted in as the first vice president for our Henry County Democratic Women's Chapter. Is that right? Yes. Congratulations. Thank you. That's awesome. And so now, um, as of the end of last year and for this year, now I'm the president of Henry County Congrats. Democratic Congratulations. Women. Congratulations. So, yes. You know, it's, it's a lot of work, mm -hmm. but we want to encourage, you know, educate and support women who choose to run for office. Mm -hmm. That's what we want to do. Yeah. Because there are some women out here that are really struggling because mm -hmm. um, they're convicted, their passions, Correct. right? Have Correct. them convicted, whether it's child care, health care, mm -hmm. educational mm -hmm. systems, mm -hmm. um, just our infrastructure, Correct. jobs, yes. you know, um, how women are treated, mm -hmm. minorities in general, mm -hmm. the whole thing. Correct. We have so many different dynamics that we face that we want to kind of pivot and figure out Correct. where can we apply our urgency or our talents or Correct. our time to help out in some kind of way. And sometimes if you can't beat them, you join them in the sense Correct. of, I, I think I would have a better platform, a mm -hmm. different perspective, a perspective yeah. or strategy mm -hmm. that other people aren't looking at, and mm -hmm. I want to kind of get involved. Well, of course, because if you have a, a room full of men who are making decisions mm. about what a woman should do with her body. Come on. <laughs> Come on, Sharice. Okay. Help us. So with that being said... <laughs> Us yes. as women, we need a seat at the table. Yeah, we do. And if they don't get us, give us a seat at the table. We need to bring our own chair. Wow. <laughs> I heard that. Okay. I heard that. Yes. So for you in Stockbridge, I'm assuming it was pretty supportive for you because people kind of gave you the nudge and kind of created a little way for you. Was it intimidating for you initially to kind of? At times it can be. Mm -hmm. I mean, because when you run for office, it takes a lot. Yes. It takes a lot on you personally. Mm -hmm. It takes a lot on, you know, your family. Right. You know, my kids had to. To, you know, deal with me campaigning, um, you know, my friends, it, you know, so, but it was great to have the support 
um, of my family and friends mm-hmm. on the days that I was just like, okay, I really signed up for this. Mm-hmm. So, yeah. you know, you need those strong people mm-hmm. behind you for you to lean on so that you can keep going because mm-hmm. it's a real purpose and a reason behind why you're, yeah. you know, you made that decision to do it. There's so much growth in the metropolitan area, mm-hmm. not just in Atlanta, but the surrounding cities and counties. Do you feel or see that same kind of surgeons in Stockbridge? Yes. I mean, we had, I think it's over 6,100 new people move to our county. That's a lot of people. Yeah. That's a lot of people. And they're still building. They're building everywhere. (laughs) They're building everywhere, but that's even more people. So that's the reason why we have to have public safety on Mm -hmm, point. mm -hmm. We have to have these transportation options available. Mm -hmm. And then we have to have, as I state, our economic growth plan Mm -hmm. in place so that when people move here, when children graduate from school, they go to college, we want them to come back to Henry County, Mm -hmm. not say, oh, I don't want to live there. Uh, We want them to come back. You want them to come back? We now, have some nice things going on now. I think you do because uh, quite a few people, I think they're going a couple of different directions when they're trying to um, relocate for the essence of public education mm-hmm. for their kids. Mm-hmm. Or it's either Cobb, yeah. Gwinnett, mm-hmm. and then it's it's Henry County. Mm-hmm. They're going down there yeah. because of the, the school systems that seem to be pretty good. Would you agree? They, yeah, I mean, that's the reason why I moved to Henry okay, County. Okay, okay. That's the reason why I moved mm, to Henry County. Okay. Now, a couple of things have changed Okay. Um, here recently, and so, you know, we've had to attend a couple of um, meetings okay. at the Board of Education, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. and, you know, we're concerned about, you know, some of the members, and we want to make sure that okay. everyone is representing the kids fairly across the board. Okay. And so, um, you know, we have a couple of races that will be coming up next year, mm-hmm. so we're encouraging some amazing women to run for office for mm-hmm. that as well. Mm-hmm. Um, but, you know, we got a couple of things that we still need to kind of work yeah. on. Every, everything's a work in progress. Everything's a work in progress. Mm-hmm. What would you like to see change for Stockbridge? The main thing that I would like to see um, is something that I talked about during my campaign. It's more county collaboration. Mm. Yeah, That's a good idea. Yeah. Yeah. Mm. Because in order for you to have progress and to move forward, mm-hmm. um, you have to be able to work together. Yes. You don't have to necessarily personally like someone, okay. but you need to be able to have a professional relationship with them. Okay. Would you not agree? I would agree. Yeah. I would agree. Yeah. I think there's more power in if the counties collaborate. Correct. And if nothing else, we can be informed on some things mm-hmm. because strategies can be applied in different areas. Like yes. I think but people may feel like this is mine. This is me and mine, and this is how we do it for our county, and you got to figure it out for yours yeah. and that type of thing. But even in, in a sense of you have cities, different cities within the county, mm. and so, but if you have the council individuals, mm-hmm. uh, members, if they worked well with the county commissioners, mm-hmm. then they may be able to, you know, Mm-hmm. work on a couple of things and have more progress. Mm-hmm. So I think they should have better working relationships. Okay. Mm-hmm. Why why city council? Why did you think that was important for you to be on that particular level? That's a good entry point. I think so. But I mean, you have some individuals that, you know, they just jump out and it's, you know, a Senate race or a congressional race. But, you know, that's that was just something that was small right where I lived. Um, and just you know, like I said, saw the need. Mm -hmm. And so it's like, you know, you're out, you're working, serving in the community. You know, let me see if I can be of service to this. Right, Mm -hmm. right. Do you, and I guess we just want to kind of educate people because there's so many different layers and tiers to different political positions. Mm -hmm. So as city councilwoman or just a, a city council person, do you have alignment to the um, the county and the mayor, and how does that structure so, kind of work? So you have where we live. There's five council members okay. and the mayor. Okay. And so they decide, you know, all the policy that goes on in the city of Stockbridge. Mm-hmm. Then outside of that, um, outside of the city, unincorporated Henry County, mm-hmm. you have count. I mean, I'm sorry, you have commissioners. Okay. And so in Henry County, we have five commissioners and a commission chair. Mm-hmm. And so they handle the different districts that we have mm-hmm. in Henry County. Mm-hmm. And that's the entire county. Gotcha. Um, outside of that, you have um, House representative seats. Right. And then you have your Senate seats. And then it just goes up for me. Okay. Mm-hmm. I got you. So is it that for some of the things that you believe in, then they sound really great, sound really good. Is it, was it money perhaps that maybe stock, the city of Stockbridge isn't generating enough money for us to have 
our own police force or that or no mm -hmm. they just didn't feel it was, it's a need it, no it's not I mean they say that because we don't have a city tax and they say that you know we would probably have to um, incorporate uh, you know a city, city tax, tax but that's not the case there are other opportunities um, bonds a, not, a number of other things um, that could be looked at to mm -hmm. you know um, bring money or to, for us to have money for to um, create our own police department. Gotcha, yeah. gotcha. So other avenues. And so voters turn out for your for Stockbridge, right? Turnout, voter turnout was pretty good. Has been pretty mm, good over the voter years. Turn, well, voter turnout for local municipal races yes. is usually low. Yes. Um, when there's a mayoral race. Mm. Included, it, mm -hmm. then it's a little bit more. Mm -hmm. um, but the voter turnout for presidential elections or gubernatorial, the midterm elections, those are always, mm -hmm. you know, the voter turnout is higher. Okay. Yeah. So we just have to try to educate um, the community of the importance of local elections, mm -hmm. and that's what we're working on. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. So as you being president, what are some of the things that you're going to kind of um, foresee as your as your presidency over the council so for the Henry County Democratic women um, a couple of things that we are choosing to work on is to inform the community mm -hmm. of the candidates that are running for office okay yeah so we'll be hosting you know forums like this week we actually have um, John Ossoff he's coming to our meeting on the 21st okay um, I don't know if you know we'll some of us will be attending on um, the presidential debate oh. that's on Wednesday yeah. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, okay. Yes, All right. Ma yes. Ma yes. And on um let's see, this Wednesday on Tuesday, mm. um we'll be hosting a meet and greet with presidential candidate Tom Sire mm -hmm. at um, the Greater Piney Grove Baptist Church. Okay. Um so that's on Eventbrite. They can go on and register mm -hmm. for that. So just basically informing the community of their options so that yes. people will know mm -hmm. and we're trying to get them to understand the importance of local elections and yes. why they really want to be involved because those are the seats the positions yeah. that matter the most yeah. who's your sheriff you know who's your school board person yeah. who's your commissioner these yeah. people are making decisions Ooh. about what you do on a day-to-day -day basis come on yeah and kind of like who's under the judge? under the radar because yeah. we don't really pay them much attention and well you don't think about it until you have a situation that <sighs> causes you to be involved with those particular individuals and depending upon what their beliefs are or how they operate it affects you mm. Yeah. Mm. so you really want to make sure that you have someone that's in there that's fair across the board so the education process just as us as citizens it's it's all year round we just need to Correct. be engaged not we just do. when we it's do. election day or things Correct. We need, you need you need to be informed you need to know what's going on um, I know a lot of people get up, they go to work, they get their kids off to yeah. school, you know, they come home, it's dinner, practice, yeah. homework, yeah. to bed. Yeah. And it's the same routine every day. Mm -hmm. But you have to stop and find out what's going on in your community. Mm -hmm. Because when your bills start going up. I'm looking, yeah. Okay. Yeah. They come, <laughs> you want to know why. You want to know why. When your taxes increase. Yeah. You want to know why. Mm -hmm. Or when they build something next to your home and it increases your property value. You want to know why? I want to know why. You want to know why? Yeah. yeah. You guys have hearings. How can we find out? Like, what's? How do we know? Because oftentimes, let me tell you what happens for me. Because she said it. You going to work <laughs> and you're doing. You driving kids off school and you're going around. And then when I pass a corner, a mm -hmm. very popular intersection, mm -hmm. I see a little sign mm -hmm. that says a hearing on such and such. And, mm -hmm. and you can't stop to read the sign. You don't have to pull over. And I'm like, well, wait, what? <laughs> Wait a minute, like, and so how does one know about the hearings and those informations, at least for Stockbridge? So, um, most information is listed on the website. Mm -hmm. Any public information, they usually would list everything on the website. Okay. Even with the county, everything is listed on the website. So, you want to be able to show up early to those meetings yeah. so that you can sign up if you want to speak and okay. voice your opinion, whether you're for it or against mm -hmm. it. And we have some people that do that. Yeah. Yeah. Because they want to, listen. Who wants to have, if you live in a subdivision. Come on, Sharice, come on. <laughs> what you say, come on. Come on. If you live in the subdivision and your home is worth two to $300,000. Yes, yes. And then someone chooses to build homes that are $100,000 yes, right down the right. street from where you live. What is that going to do for That's your property value? That's not going to help the property okay, value at all. 
That's not going to help at all. Okay. We need that, those, mm -hmm. those conversations. Things that are happening in other pockets of Atlanta or other city, city, cities is this whole warehousing distribution thing yeah. in the midst of residential areas yeah. that are predominantly black. Did I say that? You, I mean, you did, and we have those concerns in Henry County as well. Okay. We've even had discussions about an inland port. Ooh. Yeah. In Henry County. In Henry County. Ooh. Mm -hmm. not, so, no, no. you know, you waking up some things. Yeah, I <laughs> like that. We talking. Yeah. I pay my taxes. Come on. I am a homeowner, and I'm like, something isn't right here. Yeah. And so we got to figure out the mechanisms and the people who can help us um, have the right voice and the well, right cadence. But that's the community, though. Right. We, we, collectively, we have a voice. Mm. We all have to come together. We have a voice, and we have a vote. We just feel, I'm, I'm going to be devil's advocate, Sharice. Oh we God, just no. feel <laughs> powerless at times, at times, because we go and we vote, we pay attention, we vote for the right candidates, and sometimes they're not, they don't get the seat, or sometimes they're in and they can't do what they said they could do because it's bigger than them, mm -hmm. right? So I, I think most of us feel like decisions have been drafted long before we woke up. Right. Before we realized, before they put a little sign in the grass that said there's a hearing, mm -hmm. the decision had already been made that they're going to do what they're going to do. So sometimes we feel that when we go and we voice, it's all like for a movie, like it looks like we're doing a movie. Yeah, mm -hmm. We're doing mm -hmm. all this mm -hmm. and that. But how do we overturn something that's already been they almost got the stake in the ground as we're speaking with this whole building and development and that so, kind of thing. So this is the thing. You vote those people in, and if they don't do what they either promised that they were going to do mm -hmm. or if they don't do what's within the best interest of the community as a whole, then you vote them out. Mm. It's just that simple. Mm. But you have to do it. In a, on a collective effort. Come on, okay. Okay? Yeah. So it's not just, you know, oh, well, and then people who, you know, because your particular candidate may not, and, and when you get into races where you're trying to pick, like, the Democratic nominee or the Republican nominee, yes. you, everyone, you know, it's like, okay, well, if my candidate is not the nominee, then I'm not going to vote in the general election. Come on, yeah. And so then you have situations where, you know, you get other individuals that win their seats mm -hmm. because you have people who, oh, well, because my particular candidate was not the nominee for my party, yeah. then I'm not voting for anyone. Right. And that's not how we should operate. Okay. So that's sometimes what happens as yeah. well. Yeah. And sometimes we just don't know the other candidate, right? We have all of our all of our eggs in one basket, mm -hmm. hoping for that particular person. Mm -hmm. We're not really paying attention to other people, especially when our person doesn't win. So now it's like, you're right. Sometimes yeah. we say we fold our arms on, well, I'm mm -hmm. not voting at all. Mm -hmm. So we but don't know. But you can't know. do that because if you if you're if you're a member of that party mm -hmm. and and I just have to go to the Democratic Party. Right. If you vote blue, then you have to vote blue no matter who mm. is on that ticket, okay? Okay, she All right, now. She trying to <laughs> <laughs> Listen, okay. Come on. <laughs> Sometimes we just don't want to do it. No, but then you can't complain. That, you well, can't complain afterwards. There we go. And that's what happens. Okay. So you have a lot of people that complain, oh, I don't like this, and oh, I like And my first question is, mm -hmm. Did you vote? Are yes. you a registered voter? Yes. When was the last time you voted? Yes. Yes. Are you a super voter? Yes. What's a super voter? A super voter is someone that votes every time the polls are <laughs> open. Okay. <laughs> Every time. I'm a voter. I'm not a super voter. Well, I need you to be a super okay, voter. Okay, I'm because changing. Because if you're a super voter, that means that you vote. Every in, time. Any special elections, any, you know, primaries, you vote in all of them. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Okay. I'm I not the people, only one. And don't judge me. There are people I'm judging. judging. No, I'm talking it's to the listeners. Okay. No, I'm, I'm talking to the listeners. They're yeah. judging me like, ooh, Michelle, you don't vote all the time. Not for every, not the special elections. I don't. And you, some those of y'all don't of the, either. Those are some of the most important ones. People, you can't call the president and say, hey, I need somebody to come down here and pave the road. Or, you know, um, can we get a stop sign or a light here? Or, you know, I don't like this policy. Or mm -hmm. I don't like, you know. That's not who you can call. Yeah. You have to call either if you live in a city, your local council person. If you live in unincorporated, then you call your commissioner. Mm -hmm. That's who you need to reach mm -hmm. out to. Mm -hmm. So at the end of the day, when I ask people, because I ask people all the time. Yes. I was, 
So where do you live? Mm-hmm. What district do you live in? Mm-hmm. They were like, I'm in District 6. Fulton County. Yeah, I'm in 6. Well, mm-hmm. see, you know that much. I know. Okay. Yeah, I know my people. Yeah. Over there. yeah, see, you know your people. I know. They're I know. Be proud. Well, yeah, I try. Because I got to know. You got to know. Because you, you got to either know who to applaud or thank or whose neck to choke. Correct. That's right. Or who we going to get rid yeah, of. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Because I'm like, who, what? Y- y'all are out of here. Mm-hmm. I'm looking at mm-hmm. them like, yeah, y'all out. Because I don't like. Yeah. None of the so decisions. Like, that's why I said for 2020, it's going to be some serious Ooh. races that will be going on. Yes. Not just the presidential race. That race is serious, but some of these local races are just as serious. Yeah. But people don't, you know, they don't understand the importance. I worked as a poll manager mm. and saw where people walked in and voted just for the governor's race. Okay. And walked out. out. You have to cast a complete ballot, ballot. Mm-hmm. a complete ballot mm-hmm. that's voting all the way from the top all the way to, to the, the bottom. bottom yeah yeah don't cast an incomplete ballot mm-hmm. don't don't walk in uninformed mm-hmm. ask someone if you know someone that's involved in the political field arena say hey who are these candidates i even had one person she said can i step outside i need to do some research on the candidate okay. before i cast my ballot okay that's so cool. i had to stand in front of her um machine yes and wait for her to come back in mm-hmm. because that's what she wanted to do she mm-hmm. wanted to go and look up someone i didn't have a problem with that mm-hmm. and it was approved by the board of elections so hey we were able to do you it. were able to do that yeah mm. but she cast a complete ballot for people to get started to pursue um, a political career i asked you was it difficult for you? But I, I guess it takes resources as well, right? Did you not have a team or some, a staff or some people? Did it cost you some financial um, donations in order to get to run for city council? Or? So the only thing that you have to have okay. is that you have to have lived in the city a year prior to okay. qualifying. All right. Um, you are able to pay your qualifying fees mm-hmm. and over 18. Mm-hmm. That's the basics. Okay. That's the basics. All right. Um, our qualifying fees were very inexpensive. Okay. Um, now, yes, you you know, you would want to have a team. You don't have to have a team, mm-hmm. but I would recommend having a team yes. to help support you um, because it's a lot that goes into running a campaign. Mm-hmm. But um, those are just the basic things, mm-hmm. you know, and they kind of do background check, make sure you, right. you know. You're not crazy. You're a, good. Legit you person. Mm-hmm. You know, mm-hmm. Find any bodies or anything. Right. You know, like, <laughs> Yeah, we don't want none of that. Okay. None of that. But, um, but the main thing is just making sure that you lived in the area for at least a year prior to and, you know, doing your quali- paying your qualifying fees. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And then you, hit the, then you hit the trail, right? Hey, listen. You hit it you running? Hit, you hit the ground running. You wow. hit the ground running. You got to get your yard signs, get your push cards. You know, you're out there knocking on doors, mm-hmm. going to different events, meeting people. Mm-hmm. You know, someone's hosting a fundraiser for right, you because right. you're raising money because it takes money to, yeah. you know, you get mailers, just a number of different yeah, things. Yeah, just to get the word just out. Just to get the word out. Yeah, the PR yeah. piece is just yeah. really, yeah. really intense. And then maybe traveling, just getting you around about. Yeah. And, and, now, and luckily, because it's the city, mm-hmm. you know, it's not. Um, um, a, a larger area, and yeah. whereas someone who was running countywide, mm-hmm. um, or someone who's running a statewide election, right. that, yeah. I couldn't even imagine, imagine trying to hit 159 counties. Mm-hmm. Oh mm-hmm. my god, that would be! <laughs> I just got tired thinking about it. <laughs> <laughs> Stockbridge is enough. Yes. Stockbridge is enough. That's There's a lot going on down in Stockbridge. We're not paying attention, but we're paying attention. Because yeah. there's a, because Eagles, is it Eagles Landing that's down there? What yeah. are some other things? Yeah. I mean, it's a beautiful city, mm-hmm. but it is, it feels like it's there and then Atlanta is here. And mm-hmm. Stockbridge is like, hi, Stockbridge. Mm-hmm. And it's, it is 45 minutes to just kind of connect. Yeah. But I would like to see um, a greater connection and just you guys working with other counties to really kind of kind of build that up because that would be great. Mm-hmm. That would be great. Mm-hmm. So what else do you want to see for Stockbridge? What else is on your radar that you'd like to see happen for well, your city? I mean, I am just going to continue being – the servant leader that I am mm-hmm. working in the community, um, you know, supporting what's going on. I'm wanna, it, excited to see what the new council members are going mm-hmm. to do. Yeah, mm-hmm. I'm excited to see what's going to happen. Mm-hmm. So I'm looking forward to mm-hmm. updates and changes. I'm mm-hmm. ready to see. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. What else do you have on the radar for yourself, Sharice Hollis? What's, well, what else for you? 
Sharice is, you know, I mean, like I told you, I'm also um, the third vice president for the Georgia Federation of Democratic Women, and then I'm also the youth advisor for the Henry County NAACP Youth Council. Hey, mm. Yeah, and mm. so I'm so excited because we actually have an event tomorrow um, with Financial Fortitude. Renee Waitley is going to come out and talk with parents and youth about how to attend college debt-free. Oh, yes. I want to go. You want to come? Yes. Okay, tomorrow. What time and where? 6.30 uh -huh. at the Workspace Boutique, 968 Eagles Landing Parkway. Nice. It's on Eventbrite. Yes. Yeah. And we've had a number of people register. And I even had someone reach out to me saying, hey, can I bring this? Can you bring this to Muskogee County? Right. I was like, yes, that's Columbus. Yeah. <laughs> I'm like, wow. Yes. Yeah, because we need to know that. We do. We so uh, we're looking forward to having an amazing event tomorrow. Mm -hmm. And um, we're getting prepared for our Blue and Gold Ball where we'll be crowning Mr. and Mrs. NAACP Youth Council. That'll be next Isn't year. Isn't that cute? So, yeah, we have some amazing things going what on. What is it like working with the youth? Uh, we we I talk love it. so much about millennials. What does that feel like for you? What does I that look like? I love it because to me it keeps you young. Mm -hmm. It keeps you young. Um, they're always, they're always um, joking with me like, Miss Sharice don't know what we're talking about. And then I'm like, oh, yes, I do. Yes, you do. So we had this one fundraiser that we did at um, Sky Zone. Mm. And so they didn't think that I was going to get out there and jump with them. <laughs> like jump rope or jump? Like jump. Like jump, jump. Jump, 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 jump. Jump, <laughs> jump. jump. <laughs> like really jump. Okay. And Miss Sharice had to show them. Yeah, you had to let them know. Yeah, I had to let them know. So what are their ages? Like how young to um, how old? I mean, we have... Someone, I think the young, well, the youngest is maybe I think 11. Okay. And then I think up to, we have a senior. Okay. Yes, I think she's 17. Mm -hmm. So um, just an amazing group of kids mm -hmm. that I enjoy. So we have, they have, we have what we call an executive committee. So we have a president, vice president, second vice president, uh, you know, treasurer, second, you know, and so forth and so on. And the kids are just amazing with how they work. And they conduct their own meetings. I'm just there to yeah, oversee. Yeah. yeah. So it's a great group, group of kids. Any any of them interested in, po in politics or pursuing? You know what? I, I don't know. I think one of them might you be. You think we'll so? See. Yeah. Yeah. We'll see. We'll yeah. Because there's somebody in there that thinks that they can make a change uh -huh. or make a difference mm -hmm. and get in there. And, and we want them to. The yeah. thing is, we don't want to feel disconnected with our youth correct um sometimes when we look back on how we were raised in our thought process we feel older mm -hmm. we feel old yeah. but in actuality um we're not we're no. not that old no. um, and and they're watching us because they there are. there's some things that we do that they're going to incorporate automatically mm -hmm. and we just got to give them the space and, yes. and the footprint to do what they need to do that is correct but it is um it's very good that you're connected with them mm -hmm. so they could see um, what you do, who you're about, and then they have a sense of, okay, I can do this too. Yeah, because we want to give them, like you said, that particular space so that, you know, sometimes sometimes uh, uh, someone else that's working with your child can identify yes. something and help cultivate yeah. that and yeah. pull it out of a child. Yes. And so that that's just, I just want to be the person that I needed when I was younger. Mm. And so sometimes you want them to feel comfortable if they need to call you. Yeah. And then you share with the parent, hey, you know, this is what was discussed or, you know, this is what they're thinking about doing, just to kind of give you a heads up. Because mm. they may share something with you that they don't tell them. Yeah. And then you just kind of let the parent know. Mm. Mm -hmm. Good stuff. Great group of kids. You're doing some good things, Cherise. I'm just trying to do what I can do when I can do that. That passion <laughs> that had you. I just want to help my community. That's all. And you're just doing it. So how can people find you in all of these events? Should we follow you on Facebook? You have a Facebook page. I do. I do. Tell the people how we can follow you in all so these wonderful on all events. all social media platforms, I'm Sharice Hollis. Okay. C-H-E-R-I-C-E-H-O-L-L-I-S. Mm -hmm. So that's on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter. And my web website is ShariceHollis.com. Okay. Mm -hmm. So we can go out to Eventbrite and find all these events and register for things yes, that are coming up. Yes. Because yes. I think tomorrow's conversation is going to be very good for it is. you. Very great. And how to go to college financially debt free, free. Yeah, debt listen, free. When I spoke with the young lady that's coming out um, tomorrow, I was like, so you're going to be able to give them tips and tricks. Well, I, have, I think I have adults interested. Yeah, because in I want to know. Because a lot of us are starting to make provisions now. Because mm -hmm. I say I got six more years. My kid is 12. Yeah. And I'm like, in six more years, I got to figure this out. Yeah. And I'm asking him to get a full ride. Yeah. But if that's not possible, 
right. What is we going to do? That's right. So I got to figure this out. And my son is a junior, so I will definitely be Ooh. sitting right Yeah, I will definitely be sitting right there. And then they have this thing that they want to go to an HBCU. Yes, yes, yes. Uh, HBCU. The expensive one. Oh. Yeah, because one of the young ladies that's a part of our youth council, we just had, well, we just had a conversation. She was like, well, Miss Sharice, I want to go to Spelman. I said, okay. <laughs> we got to find you some money, sweetheart. We got to find you some money. <laughs> yes. My son is talking about North Carolina A and T. Mm. I'm like Aggies. I don't have a yeah. problem with them. I think it's a wonderful institution, but I'm like, it. It's not what it was 30 years ago from a from a cost mm -hmm. perspective. So I'm like, mm. well, if you're available, come on out tomorrow. I'm going to I'm going to move some things around I need you so I can come through come and on try on to on. understand yeah. because this is good information to Excellent. have. Yeah, I think we're going to definitely have to have a part two. <laughs> absolutely yeah, yeah. absolutely i mm -hmm. want to talk to you about how we can collaborate on some things that we, we can to, yeah. and because there's people here in atlanta or just in the surrounding counties that would want to know that information and mm -hmm. i think that you're doing some really great things for the Thank city of stockbridge you. and and the council that you're working for and the women and and all that that people need to get inspired we just don't have enough images of women like yourself in politics or in the political field or mm -hmm. scene mm -hmm. and we just don't know how to start like i i know some women that are so passionate and want to make a change but they don't know how to get their foot in the water correct and the thing is it's just about you really just have to kind of step out there. yeah but it is hard mm -hmm. because sometimes you feel like oh well, i don't know if i have the support yeah but that's the reason why with being a third vice president um, or the Georgia Federation of Democratic Women, we, my position is to help create additional chapters around the state of Georgia. Mm -hmm. So if there's a group of women that want to start their own chapter, they can reach out and we'll help them get it up and going so that they'll have the support, so that the support will be there mm. for women who want to step out and run for office. All right. Yeah. Wow. That's what we do. That's what y'all do. That's you got a do. busy week this week. Cause oh, you, yes. It's yeah. busy. I mean, I don't want to be in your business or it's nothing. Busy. But you can <laughs> It's busy. Listen, starting today. Day. Starting today. <laughs> Yes, ma'am. It's a busy week. You are a busy woman. Mm -hmm. I am so thankful for you to come here today and just share a little insight on how you started and, and just your world and how's it, how things are going in Stockbridge because oftentimes we just don't know. Mm -hmm. And sometimes the bigger the city, it's harder for us to really get a hold of some people to kind of be transparent and let us know mm -hmm. and kind of guide us through the process because yeah. we need guidance. We need to understand, you know, what battles we should be fighting for and how mm -hmm. we need to go about it. And Correct. again, it all goes back to our power of voting, and mm -hmm. we still sometimes we get discouraged. We don't realize the power we have in our uh, in the ability to vote. Yeah. So we go, I'm not doing that today. Yeah. I don't have to do yeah. that, or I don't like who's running, mm -hmm. or it doesn't make a difference. So I want to continue to allow this platform to be a space where people can continue to resonate that that message and yeah. saying it's very important. It's very important. It makes a difference and mm -hmm. these are the reasons why and this is the outcome and you have a responsibility in doing that. That's right. We gotta do our civic duty. We gotta do our civic duty. I'm telling you, well that that's my time, but before I go, today's show was sponsored by Sequoia Massage Therapy. Thank you, Sequoia Massage Therapy. Um if you're interested in deep tissue, Swedish sports, or hot stone massages, please reach out to them. Yes, they sponsored today's show. Go to the website, uh, sequoiatherapy.com. Live life and don't let life live you is the motto. So thank you for sponsoring today's show. Go ahead. You need that appointment. The holidays are coming. Yeah. We've been holding tension and stress mm. all year you need to get these appointments That's gift right. them to people you got some people that you know could benefit by a deep tissue massage you need to do that so That's yeah look at Cherie. she's pulling that number in yeah we're going to share this information <laughs> so that people can have it it's a great gift idea and i thank you courtney retman for sponsoring today's show for me you know me the real chick i am I'm everywhere. I'm on Instagram, Twitter, Facebook. We got the page. We got the website. Uh, I need you to like, share, comment, subscribe, hit it, do it. Right. We are everywhere. This show is on iTunes, iHeartRadio, Pandora, YouTube channel. I need you to like, share, comment, slide this in people's DMs so that we can raise the vibration on what we're talking about here as an impact as, as women and, and the communities that we live in because that's what it's all about. So, yeah, until next time, I want to thank you, Cherise, for coming and being my guest for today. You're this welcome. was good. It was very informative. Until next, next time, 
time. You guys take care and continue to rock on. Bye.